Text 13. I shall now explain the knowable, knowing which you will taste the eternal. Brahman, the spirit, beginningless and subordinate to me, lies beyond the cause and effect of this material world. The Lord has explained the field of activities and the knower of the field. He has also explained the process of knowing the knower of the field of activities. Now he begins to explain the knowable, first the soul and then the super soul. By knowledge of the knower, both the soul and the super soul, one can relish the nectar of life. As explained in the second chapter, the living it entity is eternal. This is also confirmed here. There is no specific date at which Jiva was born, nor can anyone trace out the history of Jivatma's manifestation from the Supreme Lord. Therefore, it is beginningless. The Vedic literature confirms this, that the knower of the body is never born and never dies. He is full of knowledge. The Supreme Lord as the Super Soul is also stated in the Vedic literature to be the chief knower of the body and the master of the three modes of material nature. In the Smriti, it is said that the living entities are eternally in the service of the Supreme Lord. This is also confirmed by Lord Chaitanya in his teachings. Therefore, the description of Brahman mentioned in this verse is in relation to the individual soul and when the word Brahman is applied to the living entity, it is to be understood that he is Vijanaya Brahma as opposed to Ananda Brahma. Ananda Brahma is the Supreme Brahman personality of Godhead.